Let's now talk about your New Year's Eve celebrations and what you're going to be doing tonight. If there's no ball to drop for you, no problem. Of course, you know, here in Charlotte, we like to lift the crown for the Queen City. But there are several different towns all across the Carolinas that get really creative. Some of these might surprise you every New Year's Eve. So let's talk about the traditions all across the Carolinas. First, starting in Eastover near Fayetteville, they drop a giant wooden flea. Okay, town leaders say it's part of their history since the town used to be known as Flea Hill. And thanks to a flea infestation, how lovely, way back in the day. Now to Mount Olive. That's where they drop what else but a pickle. It's in honor of the Mount Olive Pickle Company that was started back in the 1920s. In Beaufort, near the coast, they drop a pirate. Not from the top of the building, but from a plank instead. Now, Captain Shack as they call the mannequin, takes all the problems of the past year with him into the depths of Taylor Creek, according to the town's Facebook page. I like that one. And in Burgad, they drop a giant blueberry in honor of their town's blueberry festival. To South Carolina, they also get pretty quirky. The town of Folly Beach near Charleston drops a giant glittery pair of flip-flops, fitting. And in Hilton Head, this one's also fitting. It's a massive golf ball toward the Harbor Town Lighthouse in honor of the town's famous golf courses. Of course, we want to know, maybe you have family in any of these towns that are going to be watching their something drop um, or what your New Year's Eve celebrations are going to be. Maybe you are just right there with your husband going to cheers at midnight. Text us 704-329-3600. Carolyn. You got me there with Mount Olive. You said they drop in Mount Olive, they drop a <laughs> pickle. I was like, Olive? <laughs> pickle. Pickle. You know what? I know. <laughs> the, you, I love it. The unique, the unique ways to ring in. I'm not really sold on the wooden flea. I understand the history, but it's not the loveliest picture. Rachel, thanks so much. Yeah. Coming